If we think about this in relation to our worksheet, which we had basically two time periods, a comparative balance sheet here, current period, prior period, then we could see that this whole activity down here matches up with our activity up top. Remember, we have the current period information, prior period, the difference. We're really looking for that difference because that's showing the activity. That's going to be here. But then we're going to, to tie it out to our cash at the end of the time period because that's what will be reported on the balance sheet. So we'll get into this worksheet more as we go through. We're really going to be working with this differences column in order to help us determine what the uh, cash flows from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities will be.